So these guys are cleaning up the mess after yesterday's car crash. Yesterday a car ran into the side of the building over here. Um, they got that shored up a little bit. What are you doing? They're cleaning up all the uh, all the debris. So a lot of mess to clean up. Did you see the car that went in today, yesterday? No, I didn't see a picture. I thought you were the ticket guy at first. I was like, ah, oh, shit. Nah, check out my YouTube channel. What's on there? It's yeah? Still, it's still no affairs. It's on there. I'll check it out, definitely. Yeah. Car yeah, ran. I didn't see a picture of it. Just saw, the, just saw it when I showed up last night. Yeah, it was a, it was a BMW. It oh. Just right into there. I don't know what he was doing. Yeah, the guy was the guy was pointing out, too. If you look right here, it's like there's something to block something evenly except for this one spot right here. Oh, wow. He, he would have got a pole if there was no if it was the pole here. Yeah, exactly. He would have been fine. Instead of happened last year, it's because the vents replaced. Yeah, I don't know how, I don't know how you would get this. Something. I don't know how you get this angle I know. from driving straight. They got, like, T-boned, I think, in the intersection or something? No, nah, there's a one-car accident. Oh, really? Yeah, there was no other car involved. Just that oh. one car. There was no other car. He said his foot got stuck on that pedal. Really? That's what he that's what he allegedly said. And then what he hit that curb and was he hit the curb there? and straight in. No no brakes. Just straight in. Alright buddy, take care. See you, Alright, so he's fixing up the wall. But also there's a lot of construction going around in this neighborhood. They'd be placing the gas line. So I'm just gonna take a walk up there and see what kind of work they've been doing. For the last couple of months, they've been um, digging up this whole street, changing the gas lines over. So I just want to see what we got here, you know? So this is um, Brenton Street. Brenton and Washington Street. Let's take a walk up. Oh, this is supposed to be new gas line. The whole stretch all the way up. So let's see what we got here. Phone call, they're arguing again. Can you swing back there? Now those call. cable uh, lines are definitely not safe. In the the I don't know who who put those cable lines like problem. that, but that is definitely not safe at all. It's not high voltage, but it doesn't look like that should be like that. Like, why would you tie it to a pole? If it did get energized, it'd be grounding out the pole. That's not good. Like, who, who, who put that up there? Gotta call the city on that. There's no way... There's no way that pole should be there. A lot of trash in this yard, too. This looks like a private way. This doesn't look like a city property. But then again, it could be city property. But this is like a fire egress. This is probably... Hmm. Do some research on that one, too. So let's take a walk up here. They've been changing all the gas lines over here. Um, they've been doing the whole stretch all the way up and around. So this whole area has been getting an upgrade with gas lines. So we shouldn't have any um, any more gas leaks, supposedly. We shouldn't, but that doesn't mean we won't. Those are below the grade. I don't know if they're going to bring those up or what. Um, it's gonna document what you see. Um, it's still not done over here. This might be where they're gonna do another. This might be where they're gonna do another connection. It's like a little cover sack, so it's like it's more or less a dead end. No, I don't see one in here. Yeah, still got a spool of the gas line over there. Okay. The way they have those wires coming to those poles look 
kind of wacky, but it is what it is. That's, that's the identification marks on the plate. Let's take a quick walk over here. See what else we see. Probably gonna change those over too, cause those those look those don't even look good. Those caps. Take a walk up. I'm not even sure the name of this little road here. This is like probably doesn't probably has a name, but who knows what it is. It's one of these side streets that you never go down unless you go down. They got most of the street blocked off, but they're just uh, replacing all the uh, piping. Like, just want to give you a little video of what's going on, you know. Always got to document what goes on in the city. Especially nowadays, because sometimes you don't know. You don't know. So they're pretty much going all the way to the to the um all the way to the actual building. Dig the trench. Just below the forest line. All the way in. To, all the way into the building, actually. That's a lot of work. That's that's the blow pipe right there. That's the pipe you use to blow all the dirt and dust out the way. Hook it on the end of the compressor. Just blow it all the dirt out. Um, Take a quick, quick walk across over here, so I'm not, I'm not in their way. Uh, it's gonna be a William Grove, 62 year old. That's gonna be the, the pipe with the shut off valve. Okay, Pretty good, not bad. Coming down, it's gonna be kind of a number three. Um. Okay, one out of our. They're doing, a, they're doing a full replacement. I thought they were just doing it to the street, but they're doing a full replacement into the building itself, which makes it a lot more... No, no wonder why it took them so long, because they're actually doing the whole entire thing. So everybody's got a new upgrade. Everybody's got a new upgrade, huh? Some of, the, some of those caps are lower than the grade, though. They might have to raise those up. Like I said, there's a lot of work going on in this neighborhood here. So this, this, this street here is Townsend. At least we get to look at this name of the street right here. Oh, Cardman Park. Fire house, 746 Center Street, requesting us. They have an EDP trying to attack the fire by the stairs. 101, what about them? So this road is okay. closed. I'm popping number three. Bravo 906. Bravo 906. This is our information up there. Weaver's last name is Gold, G U M E S. Yes. We cut this tree down a couple of a couple of weeks ago. That was a different operation altogether. And now, yeah, that's a big operation they're doing there.
just want to show you some construction going on in the city. I'm not sure what they're going to build over here and over the next lot. I know they've been taking out stuff out of there for a while, a lot of dirt. Oh, and we're up at one of the hallway. So, He's got a cut on his face. We can start him out. I have it. Yeah, this is the remainder of the pipe. This is the last of it. They had a whole lot more than this before. But they used a lot of it up doing it doing the run that they were doing. And now it's, they're almost at the end because they did that whole stretch. So that's about the end of it right there. And over here they're doing something totally different. This is this is like private property. They've been digging up the dirt and all the all the boulders out of here. Um, so I can give you a quick look at this too, what they're doing. They've been breaking up boulders and digging out digging out stones. They did it with the bobcat first, but the bobcat was only able to get the small stuff. So they had to bring in the big big dozer for the heavy stuff. Yeah, uh, one ambulance should suffice. Like I said, I'm not too sure what they're doing here, but they dug out a lot of dirt that was um, filled in. I think she's got some small cuts in and the gentleman's got a cut on the face. You know, uh, maybe come down a couple of weeks and see how far they get on this and what they're doing. They could be just expanding the parking lot or they might be planning on building something. You never know. But he broke up a lot of those those boulders that were there. They were like little um, like little columns that were on the side. All right, guys. I think I'll give you a little footage of you know, something going on in the city. This over here. I guess that's a sign. Can't really see it, but it must be a sign. Anybody interested at first half available tonight on B31, first half available on B3 tonight. 4287 is the number to the first caller. I assume this is private property. I, I could be wrong, but it's kind of hard to say. All right, guys, until next time, and that's Porter. Catch you on the next one. Yeah,